Hi, I'm Emily Laidlove, your Tutoring Solutions. And today I want to show you a little bit about how I gamify spelling. I know spelling is such an onerous task for most of our students. And this is one way that I do occasionally to gamify spelling. And I could use any spelling board, but you'll see the one I'm using here in this uh, clip. But I've used many boards and I've done it in person. And basically, take the words you want to spell, on cards, deal them out where you and your student both get cards, you ask the other person to spell. And you'll see that uh, it doesn't take much longer for the student to take his or her turn uh, and then if I were just doing dictation. Uh, but we add a game so it just keeps their interest a little more. And then it does take time for the student to ask me to spell a word. And why is that important? Well, first of all, the student has to read the word. I will either ask the student to use the word in a sentence when they give it to me or somehow indicate that they understand the meaning of the word or if they don't then that's a, uh, something that we'll discuss or some students I will ask to don't read the word to me but give me a clue to the word, a definition of the word so they're having to read the word and think about what it means and then giving me a definition. So you know we've been working on a concept so I kind of have a a idea of what that word would be, but if I guess incorrectly, the student then has to refine the clue to help me find the correct word. And that's a really valuable tool to get them that involved in the language aspect. So depending on the needs of the student, they either read the word to me, give me a sentence with it, or somehow give me a clue for the word and I spell it and they get to listen to how I attack the spelling of a word, how I break it up, what morphemes I'm thinking about and what sounds I'm thinking about and features I'm thinking about. So the more I model an acceptable strategy for spelling, the easier it is for them to then do it themselves. So I hope you'll see that in this clip. C A P T U R E. Beautiful. Good job. Roll your dice. Oh, good. Okay. Give me a word. I forgot to put marcher back. Okay. Feature. Like good. birds have a cool feature that allows them to fly. Excellent. Nice use of the word. Feature. It's not a person who does it, right? So it's not the E-R. So it's feature. F-E-A. I'm using the E-A for the E sound. F-E-A-T-U-R-E. -E, feature. Three. One, two. Yes, I get the shortcut. Catching up to you. I'd like you to spell the word texture. What is it? Texture. The texture was really rough. E. e wait, T-E. T-C-H-U-R-E? How do we spell that chur sound? Do we spell it with a C-H-U-R-E? Oh, no. T-E-T. -E What's that sound? What's the next sound after the E? The E. C-H? Say it. Wait, no. Say the sound. Text. Oh, like X. Yes. So it's T E X. T U R E. Perfect. Perfect. You got it. T E X. T U R E. Roll your dice. T U R E. Oh my goodness. I guess you win. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay, we'll do one more round. Give me one more word to write, to, to spell. Some people have different col... Col... Oh, culture. Culture, right? Okay. Mm -hmm. They have a different culture because they come from a different country or a different religion or a different ethnic group, whatever. Or if they just want to. Well, a culture is more than just they just want to. It's something that has been 
cultivated or grown within a people. So it comes from the same word that means about to grow something. So a culture is something that's not just, I decide, here's my culture. It's something that has come to you over a period of time, usually along with your a group of people. Okay, culture. It's not a person who. So it is culture, C-U-L-T-U-R-E. And two. Okay, here's your next word. I'd like the word archer. An archer is a person who does archery. And it's A-R-C-H-U-R-E. It's a person who does it. So what's the suffix? How do we spell that suffix that's a person who does it? A. R-C-H-E-R. Nice job. Go ahead. Finish up. Okay. You win. Good job.